All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Patriots Way franchise, man. What a run we are on to start the season. The only problem with that is the entirety of the rest of our division is really good. And I'm pretty sure with one loss, we will be in the last place in the division despite being 3-0 and to start the division. That is actually insane. Uh, I'll tell you what. Weston, Russo... These guys have come into this franchise and made it their own. There has been some games that Russo has struggled. But the one constant on the team has been Weston. He has been elite so far. It would not surprise me if he was the number one rusher. Let's take a look at some of the stats and find out. Let's find out. Like, you know, uh, Russo has not been gangbusters as a rookie. This guy is second in the league in rushing. Who Who is first? Who is first? Let's see. Probably should have went this way. Who is first in the league in rushing? Like, I get my quarterback's not that high up there, and that's fine. I, I accept that. But Bijan Robinson beat him out. Oh, he's got double the carries. Okay, that that makes sense. Nowhere near the average. He's got less touchdowns. He just got more yards. I, I get it. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. I'm going to get that number one rushing title by the end of the year. Bet that. And, uh, yeah. We're we coming for that right there. Okay. So, we're playing the Miami Dolphins. Y'all know what the Miami Dolphins are up to. It's going to be probably the hardest game we played. Got to deal with Jalen Ramsey. Got to deal with. Jalen Waddle got to deal with Tyreek Will, uh, Tyreek Hill. We got to deal with a lot this game. It's going to be tough just to even get something to where we can get a stop. And then you see Weston was elite last week. The thing that we got to do this game, and it's ra it's raining. We picked to run the ball in the rain, by the way. We get the ball first. The thing we got to do in this game is grind it out. You know, we gotta stay consistent with the run game. Take our shots now. We have one change that we did make. There's a new Taekwon Thornton to the X. So that way, when we have a deep bomb, it'll be the speedster going after it rather than the, um, the, the tall receiver that, you know, he's a jump ball receiver and that works as, as a really big guy. But I think Taekwon will be able to get some, like, long touchdown runs. Oh my gosh. Weston literally running through people. Although well, that, that was a pretty good hit that he took there. He's all right, but that was a pretty good hit. All right, so second and nine, want to make it third and short, if not get a first down right here. Oh, that's, that's the worst throw I've ever seen. It was apparently under pressure. I don't even know how you call that under pressure. Ah, okay. So that's a uh, great start. It's absolutely a great start. I thought I scrambled away from the pressure. I, I, I don't know. I probably didn't make the right decision. Right there. I probably should have just ran with the QB. To be perfectly honest. That was a bad throw. It is no wonder why my quarterback is struggling this year. I'm not making excellent reads like I was in our last franchise. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just gotta, I gotta get back to basics with QBs and just make my reads. I think that's gonna be essential for me. It's gonna be dropping it. It's raining. It's bad conditions to be throwing the ball. To be perfectly honest with y'all, we just gotta, gotta figure out a way. Does not go down from the first hit ever. This guy is a monster. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. The pass that I want to throw, I can't throw. That's a great play. Jesus. Okay, it's it's hard to throw the ball right now. It is hard to throw the ball right now. And it's gonna, you know, been a little tough to run the ball. Two possessions, we have not scored and they've scored. So, it's probably not the best thing. 
Looks like Tyreek Hill didn't know which way he wanted to go. Two was gonna come out for the first time. You gotta, I don't know, we threw a pick six, so obviously we gotta get a stop. Uh, they don't have the worst field position. They're on the, they're on the seven or the thirty-seven rather. Even the E chain, three yard gain. The one thing I like about this matchup for our point of view is that we seem to have struggled against power backs, and Devin E chain is not a power back. He's a uh, running back that has great speed, exceptional speed, but not a lot of power. So if we can, you know, get bodies on him, we should be okay. Shouldn't be breaking a ton of tackles. Then again, this is Matt, so you never know what you're going to pull. Alright, so Tyree Kill is matched up against somebody he shouldn't be. Let's hope that we can get that going. Okay, so that tells them that we're in man coverage. And we get the pressure, and it is an incomplete ball from Tua. Maybe that's the problem here. Maybe the rain is affecting our quarterback in a, in a very negative way. So maybe we got to really look to pound the rock. Hopefully we can get some, uh, some good blocking and, and get that done. Okay, not a bad return for Marcus. Russo, I need you, brother. I need you to lock in here for me. Not only are they in search of their first score, you know they're expecting a run, and we're going to give it to them because I do not want to throw the ball. I just realized. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Runs into multiple defenders, but you know what? Big time first down. Okay, so if we can somehow manage to get ourselves off the ground here with our with our QB, I think we'll be in good shape. Okay, ball forward type of quarterback run, four yard game. We neither one of us have a passing yard yet. Unfortunately, we threw the pick six. Oh my gosh, we could have got away there. Would have been a big time first down. That is a very, very negative play in that situation. So that sucks. All right. I mean, we have one of the better passing uh, weapon-wise. You know, pretty good. So let's use it right here. And it is incomplete. It should have been a completion. It should have been a touchdown. It just wasn't. Um, I'm going to have to punt the ball again. Three possessions, no scores. Cater Coho could not keep up with our rookie, but the rookie also could not track the, the throw down. Tyree Kill trying to make every move in the game. They got it up to 29 right now. We need to keep getting stops, which is going to be harder against this offense than you would, you know, than you would think. Obviously, they have some of the greatest uh, breakaway speed guys in the game. And he just abandoned it. Whoever that guy is, number 19. Must be a rookie. I don't know him. But, uh, yeah, he, he literally got left. There was nobody in the vicinity there. Oh, looks like it might be the tight end. Devin A chain falling forward. You wouldn't you wouldn't guess necessarily based on his build, but falling forward there for a gain of five instead of probably a gain of two. Like he picked up like a couple extra. There we go. Tavai oh no, that's Jeff Okuda. I thought it was Tavai breaking in there, but a really good play for us, and a really bad play for them. That's what we need. We need more of that. All right, so obviously it's going to be a foot race on the outside, and that's a terrible throw. Christian Gonzalez shadowing in coverage. I think that was Jalen Waddle with the target, and uh, both defenses have played well so far. Um, we just need to break through on offense and not throw pick sixes. That'll help us a lot. I think I think the read option might be the wave here because I mean they have no superstars on the D line. So. 
with the rock. Six yards. I don't mind pounding the rock here. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to just run it and run it and run it until we cannot run it anymore. Because I, I don't think our passing game is going to be super effective today. So, especially with the quarter change, that should be fresh stamina bar as we'll run it again here. Okay, big time play. First down from Weston. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The Again, we're going to keep the ball on the ground, guys. I am not interested in throwing it. Unless we have to. Yeah, he got a yard. Should have got stopped for a loss, to be honest. But he does fall forward there. Uh, I don't know if I want to run it for a third time in a row. That's why you're going to run it for a third time in a row. That's what, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be that guy. But you know what's crazy about that? Is if I would have bounced it inside like I wanted to, we would have had a, a pretty good run there. But I wasn't able to get that done. Alright, so... What are we working with here? I think we're working with this. Hopefully Elon can break through here. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. So that's considered a bad throw, but I threw it to where it would be underthrown on purpose because the defensive back was literally just walking backwards the entire time. And I knew that that would work. We got our first completion of the day. Play action. Let it go. It is wide open for the rookie. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be a touchdown. Our first of the day, Robert, getting it done for us. And that's his first. See, this move is going to pay off for him. As he'll, he'll be able to use his uh, route running ability and his size. That's two things that, I mean, Tyquan Thornton's pretty big at 6'2", but he's not... He's not a heavy person. You know, he's very thin frame. So, he'll get hit over the middle on plays like that and drop the ball. Whereas, I don't suspect our rookie will have that issue. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting that third down. Devin Skip Arm and Nick Cross. We got to be careful with A.J. You know, he's not a slouch if he gets going to be a be a rough one for us. This is going to be a hard division to win, guys. When you got the Dolphins, you got... Good job right there by Marcus Jones to drag down Tracy. Oh, is that Logan Tracy? Because that was one of the rookies that we really looked at. In the process, sets up to pass it. that's a bad throw. Maybe, this, maybe this is the effect of the rank. The Tua is normally a very accurate quarterback, so I'm gonna have to take a guess and say that the rain is causing havoc right now. We're gonna back our guys up in man coverage because we know they gotta get to the sticks. So let's back everybody up. Good job right there by our rookie left end, Middle Brooks. Interfering with the pass behind the line of scrimmage. And that'll be fourth and 12. We're going to get the football back. Our defense has been immaculate today. Would be a shutout if not for the pick six that we threw to start us off. But Weston, we need him to break out today. So he had some good carries for us. Kind of got us going in the last drive. But well, we need him to have a big play. Running into two defenders at once. Can't break all that. But he does pick up a nice four-yard game. Still just pounding the rock here. That's got to be cool. What a run. <laughs> They're not breakout runs like some of his highlights, but he is making all of the plays for us right now offensively, and then it's setting up our pass game. 
which is exactly what we need to do. We need our guys to be type of players that set up the pass game. Because uh, our pass game obviously not elite right now. And we will get Russo out of the pocket there. Nice deep yard game. You see the hole open up and it's like you might as well. You know what I mean? So the coach is abandoning the run game which obviously isn't the right move but it is what he wants to do. So we will effectively run the ball through the air. Weston. Good job by him right there. You keep the running back involved with throwing screens and getting your guys to uh Play fake. Russo. Oh, Taekwon, you gotta catch that, baby. Peter Coho able to knock it out. That would have been a great catch for him, though. Really would have. Really, really would have. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. Oh. We have our hands on the ball twice deep down the field and can come up with either. That is heartbreaking when it comes down to it, guys. That is really heartbreaking. We really could have made big plays right there, but didn't. And now it is a deep ball. Ah, uh, it's good accuracy. We just, we just can't get it. Oh, uh, let's see. The smart decision is to punt here. We're tied. Our defense has played well. There's a minute left. We don't want to give them momentum going into the half. Oh, I had a chance at it and I jumped early. I don't know why I did that. I just ran it down, turned around, and caught the ball. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so because minute left the they have all their time out we gotta stop that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting so I wouldn't have any doubt you can catch from Tyree not really something that you can get to take him doing but we're not giving him anything over the top and that's kind of key right now we're taking away the deep ball from the Miami Dolphins because we know that's what they like to do we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on and I'm sure he said challenge accepted Good job right there by our rookie middle linebacker. We have rookies all over the place on this team. Literally. Everywhere you can think of, we have a rookie. Alright, so we're three deep here. Again, goal. Don't allow anything deep. And AJ, we're going to call this timeout. I'm going to throw a bomb and see if we can't collect, connect on something to end the, the hat. Uh, I mean... Worst case scenario, it's an interception and we track him down for a tackle, but best case scenario, we get a nice return or something. Yeah, there we go. Get a little return, put us on the 45. I'm not throwing that. That's a terrible play ball. <coughs> we'll throw a deep ball, but it'll be one of my choosing here. Only one safety, so pay attention to Taekwon here. Yeah. We just... Just throw it out of bounds there. It's poor accuracy. I knew that. I mean, I could have gave Taekwon a chance to the on the left there, but I just did not like the matchup. I thought that the corner was well in front. It would have definitely been a pick, probably. So we try to get the ball in the tight end and maybe have him break a tackle, but it's just an overthrow. So it is what it is. Take a shot. Missed it. Not a big deal. 7 7. Second half is about to begin. Oh, good tackle right there. We stopped him on the 20. We saw we were really ripping for the ball. We need another stop. And then we need again to make sure we're playing. Do not let Tyreek Hill or Jalen Waddle get beyond it. That is ultimately the key here today. We will survive the underneath stuff. But can't let these guys break free. Tavai, great cut tackle. Excellent job by Tavai. TFL, after he won Defensive Player of the Week last week. Uh, that's something else I didn't spotlight when we were talking about Weston. But he was the player of the week on defense with a sack 
and I think a pick last week. Oh, great play. I don't know who that was. Oh, that was Jack Okuda. Great play by Okuda. We're going to just, again, just play the default, guys. We cannot let anything get by us. We know what this Dolphin team wants to do. Maybe this is why Tua is curling underneath, because this is not their game plan normally, and he's got to throw the ball away. Thanks to the pressure from Middlebrook. And again, they look they look like they're not comfortable. This Dolphins team can really light it up on you. But we're getting a little pressure here. We're getting a little, you know, good coverage, stopping the deep ball. And he's struggling to find a rhythm underneath. It's not really his game. 473 yards for the year so far for Marion Weston. And, um, you know, he's one of those guys. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. All right. One yard. Dolphins are doing a really good job. right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack. Beating them to the punch. They're doing a really good job of stopping our run game, but we got to create something here. Oh, I thought we were going to be rid of that tackle and gone. We had a real chance right there. Coach is not... Oh, okay. I apologize, guys. Coach is not really calling the type of plays that I want. And then it turns out that he wasn't calling plays at all. Uh... We're going to try to get Hayward the ball over the middle here. Hopefully it's man coverage because I think he can beat that. It's not. But we're throwing it. And it's a call. Oh, what a play. Hayward really saved the drive right there. Unbelievable. We get to the outside, which is not something Weston does a lot, but barely through tackles. That was a great run. And maybe this Dolphins defense is slowly starting to get tired. Maybe that is the thing now. Oh my gosh. I had a wide open on the blitz there, but I didn't I didn't really notice that it was a blitz until it was literally right up on me. So, I mean, that's me. Ain't nobody else's fault but mine, so. This is a blitz. We're going to go to the outside here. I'm throwing it, and it's a woefully bad throw. I guess they're saying that that was a sack, that throw out of the sack, but I did not appear to get it before I threw it. So, it's okay, though. Ah, <laughs> 3rd and 16. I will kick a field goal here if I have to, for sure. And we do not have to. As a little bit, big time catch by the rookie tight end, which is literally all over the field here for us today. And the, the pass game hasn't been great, but it's been timely. And Wesson walks in uncontested for that touchdown. Beautiful job by our offensive line to create that gap in the goal line. That win is really strong in that lap. Get in mind for that. And you convert the extra point. Okay. So here's the thing. When you're thinking about what's going on with the Patriots right now, our defense is... Uh-oh. Yeah, we slow him down. We slow him down. Great return. Our defense is just good enough and our offense is just good enough. We're leaning heavily on rookies all over the field. We have a rookie at every level on defense. We have a rookie at every level on offense. Quarterback, running back, receiver. Uh, I don't I don't think we have a rookie offensive lineman though. Tua. Tua. Pirouettes. We can't knock the ball out of his hand. That would have been a huge play. But Tua with a great uh, run there. We, we had bottled up what they wanted to do. And, uh, you know, we keep him to safety. That's never going to go away on this Dolphins team. We're never going to be comfortable with a safety in the box. 
This team is too electric for that. You, you just can't do it. But you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly. Second and four. Right back to A chan on A chan. Really good tackle right there from Tavai. And I think that was Davis. But Tavai gets credit for the tackle. I'm gonna try to hopefully get pressure if not stop the run here. He's three tight ends in the same spot. It's a catch. Great job right there by Bush. Unbelievable. They're moving the ball. This is one of their, if not their best drive. This is their best drive, I believe. They've been extremely balanced. Got to assume this is going to be a run, right? I think he, he had to. He went on the 5-2. We stopped the run. I believe they'll pass now, but this will be the end of the quarter, so let's wait until the fourth starts before we figure that out. So, yeah, we started to dominate the game. Um, now we need to keep them out of the end zone now. Our defense has been exceptional all game. Uh, we're leaning on them right now. We're going to stop here. we got a chance to close the game up. I'm going to go match coverage, and I'm going to go cover two. Hopefully, which hopefully will not burn me. I, I have not run a play like this all game. Oh, okay, they're running again. And e chain is loose. Great run. Five yards to carry from e chain after that one. And, uh, no, he's doing his thing, guys. He's doing his thing. He's a great player. I'm going to take Tavai here, and I'm going to cover. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That was... That was one of the best throws in Tua's career, right there. He walked in it in the perfect spot, and no one on my team was close enough to stop that. A great extension by Tyreek to get that one in. Touchdown throw, and it's a 14-14 game. We have the ball. We're going to get back. And uh, you never know here, guys. It's interesting. We beat the 49ers, and as you see, they're actually struggling with that ultra talented roster they're one and two looking to be one and three after this game coming up they're losing to the lions right now so i mean like you would think on paper the 49ers would be one of the best teams in the nfc but they are not you see atlanta is really going big thing they fall out look at that run by west green bay looks like they're having a, the rams are three you know the rams this intensity that doesn't make any sense. Better as the game goes but then again, in the same room, we were getting to year, to year one here. And the Broncos won the Super Bowl, so clearly it's opposite that. Hey, good tackle right there by Jalen Ramsey. We should have lowered the goal line, honestly. But we had guys both on the left and the right. So, just want to keep running. I don't want to take risks. I think the run game is key right now. Breaking tackles, great run. Inching his way towards 100 yards. To me, this is a great opportunity for a play action flat play. Like to speak proper English. He's going to get the ball down. Great. I mean, it's an under pressure throw that hit the exact place it needed to be. So, great job by our quarterback on that one. You know what? I'm actually going to change the play. We're going to run the ball. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. First down run. Unbelievable. Weston breaking tackles. Continuing to carry us on his back. Alright, here we go. That's a great run stop right there by that linebacker. Uh, I think it's Derek Long. I'm not 100% certain on the first name. But he makes a great play right there. Okay, so... Gotta give our running back a opportunity to get a playoff. So we're just gonna run it with the QB. We're gonna get a first down. Because our QB is playing at a 96 speed your coaching upgrade, which I should probably show you guys, which I'll do at the start of the next episode, probably. 
All right, let's run the ball. One yard. I'm not hating the, the slow progress here. We're in the goal line. This is obvious territory where we, we would take three if we have to. Obviously, we don't want to. But if we have to, we will take three here. This is a... Oh, my God. How is that under pressure, man? That is a terrible throw, and he sets pressure very poorly right there. Because I, I don't think... I mean, his pocket was clean. There was nobody there, really. Pay attention to this one, guys. We need a play here. Sam Russo doing what he does, man. And this is up to wearing man coverage. Across the board, which means it's bat is turned. He's a quarterback. And when that happens, you got a guy like him. He's going to take it in. Great touchdown run from our QB. The pickup, 21 to 14 lead. And now our defense can stop them one more time. And then we can win the game. So... I'm not saying it's all on our defense after they played amazingly all day, but it's all on our defense right now. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth here we go. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Here's so they're clearly throwing it. First and ten. Ah, uh, this is a great play. We gotta take match coverage off, I think, because it's functioning a little too much like man. So we'll, we'll go back to the style that brought us to the dance instead of uh, the style that got us scored on. That's a good play. Uh, I think that's. Yeah, Logan Tracy, big time. Rookie receiver, again, another guy that we looked at in the process here. Uh, we decided to go with our uh, Robert Hayward, but he could have he could have been a guy. Really could have. final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Now second and four. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Throwing to a... Oh, that's a tremendous play. Is that Barmore? Holy cow. Barmore may have made the play of the day. That's a great play by our rookie linebacker. Getting his hand in there and stopping that one. Tremendous job by him. I am going to play the same style of coverage they got us here. They may get something underneath, but if we can do our job and get a little pressure. Oh yeah, under pressure, he throws it. It's out of bounds, but he makes the play. I, I don't know about that, guys. I don't know if that's actually a first down, but they're going to give it to him there. It's a great job by the Dolphins offense to convert. In a very tough situation. To uh, on the screen is to buy. And we're completely covered out there. Great job by the Dolphins. Getting an 18, one of their best weapons out there. In the flat, wide open, blockers around him. Great play call. And another screen here. And it's an absolute speed by their offensive line against our linebackers and the safeties here. They're doing a tremendous job. I don't know if they'll call two or three in a row, but they definitely pulled us with the first day. And this is a chain out in space. We do a good job following them up before he gets going too far. I don't know, guys. This is one of those things that you just can't... You know what I mean? You just, you, I feel like we just can't get rid of the Patriots right now. Or the, excuse me, the, the Dolphins. We do a good job. We see the screen. And we do a good job of breaking it up. I wish I could have caught it for a pit. But this is what's going to happen right there. So I'm going to take the bye here. And I'm going to make sure that Tyree Kill doesn't get away. And I think they're going to call pass interference. Which I don't think they should when the quarterback started running. They will call illegal contact there. Would have been towards the 10, but I don't know, man. I hit the 
receiver, and he just ran into me and kept running into me. So I, I don't. Catch, Logan Tracy, big time play. Can't allow him to beat us because he's a guy that we passed over in the draft. And that's that's not a good look. The guy that you pass over in the draft is the guy that, that beat you for the win. And not not Logan Tracy, but in the tight end Stephen Bush with a big time touchdown there. 39 seconds left. We have an opportunity to block the field goal. We cannot. It is a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. Something that I did not want to say. 39 seconds left. Look, we have the timeouts. We have the ability to do this. I'm going to let this bounce. He's going to carry it in the end zone. And listen, so you have not had a stellar passing game yet, except for the, the 49ers game, I think. But this is your opportunity, brother. This is your opportunity to tell everybody in the media that this is your team. So, are you going to seize it? Or are you going to... Oh, that's a terrible throw. And we might lose the game on that throw. We are probably going to lose the game on that throw. It's just a terrible throw. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It was not where it was supposed to go at all. It's just rookie inaccuracy, and that's probably going to result in our first loss. Unless we can strip the ball. Actually, you know what the smart move here is to let him run into the end zone and get the ball back. Try to get it to overtime. It's the only way we have a chance in this ball game. So we're gonna we're gonna be smart coaches right now. Tell our guys to do what they just did and let them score. Probably weren't gonna stop them from from getting you know. The field goal there to win the game. So the, the better matchup is to throw some deep balls and try to win the game like that. It's the better play. All fair catch, get it on the 25. Alright, so this is one of those scenarios that, again, we have all of our timeouts. We're fully capable here. All we gotta do. And that's a terrible throw under pressure. Totally inaccurate. Absolutely no chance to catch that one. Alright. I need an explosive play out of Saquon Thornton. Put him at the X for just this occasion. Can't get off the jam. And that's cool. And we can't make... Uh, yeah. I don't like our chances right now, guys. It's not looking good. I think we're probably looking at our first loss of the season. Hit as we throw. Tyron Smith is not giving us time here, guys. Fourth and ten. All right, going up top. Got to and you got no kind of choice. Five seconds left. Okay, I can't go coaching suggestions there. Come on, Taekwon, burn him. If you have ever done anything in your life, actually, we're going to go the other way. Oh, we almost had it. We almost had it off the ricochet. Oh, my gosh. Russo, unfortunately, cannot get it done. We lose today's game. It's our first loss of the season. It's just a very bad play, man. It's, it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead and after Russo three has not performed, guys. Ending because he has not just... performed this season besides the 149er game. Weston, another good game. He's near 100 yards, I think, uh, right at that line. And uh, I don't know, man. One of the throws, I think, was on me. The other, that one right there, that was all him. Uh, he just had a bad game. So we're going to go ahead and get to the next week. 
I don't know, man. We need we need our guys to start stepping up and they're not doing it. Uh, we got a tough Jets team. If we lose this one, we're back in the division. So, you know, this is a really tough division, guys. I mean, you got the Bills, you got the Dolphins, you got the Jets. Aaron Rodgers is still good. See you guys in the next episode where hopefully we can get right and get a win. But uh, I tell you what, this matchup is less favorable than the one we just played. Because Aaron Rodgers is better than Tua and Madden. So, yeah, man. Don't break nothing. Hopefully we'll get this one right. I'm out.